Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on Dr. Ira Connor. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. We gonna start from the top. We reading from africafeeds.com. The headlines say, outrage over the sacking of AU ambassador, Dr. Ira Connor. Many Africans in the diaspora have been angered by the sacking of the African Union permanent ambassador in the United States. Dr. Ira Khanna, appointed to the position in December of 2016, has been able to galvanize support of peoples of African descent in the United States and beyond. Dr. Ira Khanna is very outspoken and has become a leading voice for Pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism. She has been heard on several occasions criticizing the West for maintaining neo-colonial policies that are meant to keep Africa poor. In some media interviews, she has called out countries like France that has been holding the national reserves for of 14 African countries since 1961 with a dirty ass, you dig? And right now, we're going to cut to a clip that they had embedded on the damn site, you dig? So it's going to abruptly stop. And y'all, listen up close, goddamn it, because she really go in. You're going to understand why I like this lady. The more I did research, the more I like this woman, goddamn it. Check out this video where she go in. The audio on that bullshit, though. So pay attention, fuck. You witnessing the Rebel Network. Pay attention.
Now let's stop that right there, and that's where they stopped it at on the goddamn site. You witness in the Rebel Network. Now y'all understand why I rock with this lady, goddamn it. Now let's block talk, break it down. She said when the motherfuckers was quote unquote leaving, they gonna tell the goddamn country either y'all gonna be independent but still rocking with us, or y'all gonna be just flat out independent and shit. And then people say, goddamn it, we want flat out independence. Don't nobody fuck with y'all no more. You know what the hell y'all did to us? We don't want to be associated with y'all period god damn it you know what they dirty ass did like she said they took everything they took everything knowing they never gave back all they did was rape since the fucking day they got there rape people rape the fucking planet and everything in sight god damn it them people say we want independence motherfucker but look what they did pour concrete and the fucking sewage pipes and shit god damn it to fuck the city completely up the goddamn country completely up you gonna pull concrete down there because people want their independence and your fucking free gold mine is disappearing with y'all terrible treacherous ass goddamn it see how they get down and the old stupid ass interviewer y'all saw how he was you witnessing the rebel network he was like a total fucking cop to me talking about uh how many st how many of them was colonized what you don't know history how the fuck did you get to this position to where you you interviewing people on a political aspect and shit on a political platform you don't know about colon the whole colonization of africa god damn it who the fuck are you then he gonna say oh, oh the looting continues oh, that's still going on and shit the fuck you mean is that still going on stop playing dumb see how they be that's how the police be with you playing dumb and shit oh so you dropped the bottle of beer at 12 oh you dropped it at 11 59 you know you done fucked up right see how they be he ain't nothing but the fucking police because look what he gonna say after that uh she said yeah it continue but just under a new name and shit he like yeah what's the name what's, what's the name what's the name and shit what the fuck you mean what the name is she ain't even tell him what the name is she did he she said um it's like Y'all came over here and told a nigga they should eat with a fork or some bullshit And act like we owe you a fucking colonial debt after you told us we gotta teach French to our fucking kids and all of that bullshit and not only that the most alarming part I know y'all caught it goddamn it when she said uh you gotta uh give your money that deposit your shit into france banks or whatever god damn it them motherfuckers gonna invest your shit on the stock market and ain't gonna even mention the returns or nothing it's day returns it's like it's flat out debo shit they they don't mention the fucking returns off what they made off of you and your fucking country that they invaded god damn it but got the cheeks to poke concrete in people's shit what kind of bullshit is that now let's continue to fucking read y'all this is complete bullshit you understand what i'm saying here she said it says uh as we continue to read you witnessing the rebel network no editing but her sacking in a letter in a letter dated October 7, 2019, has angered many who are demanding her reinstatement. In the letter seen by Africa Feeds announcing her dismissal, the chairman of the AU Commission, Mozai Muhammad, did not state the reason for sacking her. She is officially expected to end her duties on October 31st. So y'all heard that, huh? They fucking fired her for walking around speaking that real shit. See what I tell y'all? Y'all be thinking like it's, it's uh, people be under some conspiracy shit when they just see what the fuck going on. I don't give a fuck about subscribers, but I know my number's bigger than what the fuck these motherfuckers saying, god damn it. And that's just how I feel about it, god damn it. They know how to fucking network. They know how to operate. They try. These the same people who had the shit on the books. Prevent the next black messiah, god damn it. And it's a picture from the article you read anyway right here you did look present next on that shit so i can read that letter to y'all too goddamn old bullshit ass people bro it's a goddamn shame what they do you gonna invade somebody else country and got the cheeks to tell somebody else goddamn it that they fucking up that they wrong and she gonna poke uh cement down your shit what kind of shit is that here you go the letter that the motherfuckers uh gave her y'all let's read that shit out loud you witnessing the rebel network or whatever Y'all know what it is. Uh, Dear Ambassador Arakana, I have the honor to inform you that, okay, already, you have the honor? This is not an honor. You fucking firing me. He have the honor, or whoever the fuck wrote this, because, oh, Adidas Ababa. 
fuck is this? I have the honor to inform you that in line with the terms and conditions of services governing your appointment as permanent representative of the African Union mission to the United States of America in Washington, D.C., I have decided to terminate your contract in that capacity with effect with effect from November the 1st. In this regard, I'm hereby instructing the Commission's Concerned Services through the Bureau of the Deputy Chairperson to facilitate your separation procedures, goddammit, before uh, October 31st. On behalf of the Commission of the African Union, on my behalf, I wish to express our deep appreciation for your constant commit commitment to African causes and shit like that. You ain't fucking, you, you don't give a fuck about her commitment to these causes god damn it because y'all the motherfuckers trying to silence her trying to silence the fucking causes with y'all fake ass they they laid up there and fight and i won't know who it was like who made the call god damn it. i think this article gonna start talking about it god damn it show the next slide any fucking way as we gonna continue to fucking read y'all complete bullshit this is how she used to be you know letting it be known these motherfuckers is eating off us y'all they fucking eating off us god damn it what you gonna do about it france and them getting full as a motherfucker america getting full as a motherfucker europe getting full as a motherfucker god damn it let's continue to read y'all on the back of her dismissal, some Africans in the diaspora have launched a petition to get her reinstated, signed by Professor Opalos Nawawa, Secretary of African Diaspora Union. The, Afri the action is getting support from African Union African Diaspora Health Initiative, Africa and Diaspora, Voice Pan-African Youth Association, Pan-African Diaspora Women's Association, Africans in Boston, and the African African Diaspora Foundation. And that's a lot. That's a that's some good support or whatever, goddammit. More than two thousand people have signed have signed the petition, which said not everyone is embracing her bold but honest discourses for affecting change for the betterment of Africa. Ain't that a shame? Only two thousand signatures. That means it's a lot of coons or somebody uh fucking with the list. God damn it! That that's that got to be some bullshit. See, you see how many people don't recognize real. A lot of motherfuckers walk around real, recognize real. They ain't even recognize who the fuck this lady is. Ain't even put no type of fucking respect on her name. You see what the fuck? She risking her life out there talking about that shit, talking about them colonizing treacherous motherfuckers. You did same thing I'm doing. I got a couple strikes. You know how they get down hate speech and every fucking thing you did but anyway let's continue to read to read you witnessing the rebel network the question is why was she dismissed or better who benefit from her removal were african heads of states and governments consulted probably not who called the shot or is africa and africa's people by descent still facing debilitating still facing the debilitating effects of modern colonialism and neocolonialism the petition claims there was undue influence and pressure exerted on african leaders and people by the former colonial powers of europe to fucking fire dr arakana it called for dr arakana's immediate re they, they they made the petition that called for her immediate reinstatement god damn it and an apology i don't think she gonna get none of that from these dirty motherfuckers you did you know how they get down they don't apologize for a motherfucking thing you think they gonna start now you think they gonna start now even when you ask for your fucking independence they ain't say you know what we sorry we gonna get y'all this startup money you did we've been raping y'all fucking country here you go this money to get y'all on your feet you did this some of the money that we not gonna invest into the stock market you know that money we don't be telling y'all about all the returns and shit here you go some money from that shit you did to build a country up as we exit we wrong for all of this bullshit that we did in the least but they dirty look what the fuck they did took everything they supposedly brung probably destroyed buildings infrastructure and every fucking thing knowing them you know how they get down burning burn. and they love and shit see how the fuck they get down god damn it show the next slide you know because this shit get really real bro just to let y'all know what diaspora mean and all of this bullshit because i don't want people to be like why the fuck they kept saying diaspora because at one point i was like diaspora and i had to look that shit up because i ain't never uh 
really use that word that much and they said it just now started retrending again uh in 2010 or whatever but that's neither here nor there anyway the definition for diaspora god damn it jews living outside of israel the dispersion of any people from their original homeland so basically it's our homeland is uh africa god damn it and right now we spread it out but you know who they use first the jews you can't be uh fucking around when they you know the Jews get their sympathy every which away, goddamn it. You think uh uh Israel would have let somebody fuck up the country before they leave or some shit? Fuck out of here, man. They built these motherfuckers a country, man. Let's you witnessing the rebel network. Play that next slide you did, cause we going in depth with this one. Let's read what Wikipedia and them little foul ass guy had to say on the subject, goddamn it. Here you go the first slide. Dr. Ira Khanna is a medical doctor and activist. She is a public speaker, educator, diplomat, founder of medical clinics, and an entrepreneur. She is the first, she is a first generation immigrant to the United States from Zimbabwe. She is the CEO and founder of Bell Family Medical Centers in the United States. She is the African Union representative to the United States. She was appointed in 2017. She holds a bachelor's degree in chemistry, a master's degree in organic chem chemistry a doctor's of medicine degree dr aracana was a family medicine specialist in tennessee tennessee she practiced medicine for 29 years you see <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. That's why I say put some fucking respect on her name. You see how this woman grinded that shit out? All them fucking accolades you did? What the fuck wrong with y'all? 2,000 signatures. 2,000 fucking signatures. How the, how the hell y'all even... Boy, I'll be so... Fu I'm embarrassed at them fucking numbers, you did. Yeah, they probably fucking with it. I'll probably go find the fucking sub uh, uh, petition and shit and... Uh, do some work on that bitch. Sign it, motherfucker, goddammit. Let's continue to read a wiki. Dr. Aracana is outspoken about that. She is outspoken about the implications of the Berlin Conference that took place in Berlin, Germany in 1885. She lectures about the outcome of the divisions on the continent of Africa that were made. She sees these divisions as a cause of some, some of Africa's problems that are still in effect today. She seeks to reunite African states and Africans in the diaspora. So y'all know what that means since we know what diaspora means. She trying to get all us to come back you did unite us everybody come back home she ain't just saying know what fuck them old spurl ass blacks of the west you did she not saying that she ain't saying i'm tired of y'all because y'all be depicting us fucked up on tv y'all make fun of the way we talk so we done with y'all i'm only focusing on african um african natives and africans who still here y'all know what the hell i'm saying god damn it she ain't say no bullshit like that you did she said she want everybody back home and that's what the fuck she fighting for you understand me but let's not hop over let's not uh gloss over the berlin conference y'all and a lot of times i'll be fucking up and i always uh mix the council of nicaea with the goddamn berlin conference you dig because i'm always i'm forgetting that nicaea is based on the bible you dig and the uh berlin conference is when they fucking divided the shit out of africa y'all about to see goddamn it let's go to the next one where we can read up on it you dig we don't bullshit around here we go in deep goddamn it let me flip this stupid ass motherfucking phone Find this damn page on this dumbass Berlin Council. God damn it, you witnessing the Rebel Network. Y'all know how we get down, god damn it. Bam, bam. In, in 1884, at the request of Portugal, German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck called together the major Western powers of the world to negotiate questions and in confusion over the control of Africa. So he got everybody together from the west to the east because, God damn it, they still united. They know we all got the same skin color and we all together. And while they was going to war with uh, Africa, you dig, they was divided. They wouldn't, the armies wouldn't speak into each other, you dig, on how they can take over Africa and manipulate the whole goddamn continent. So what he wanted to do is bring them together, bring them together and have a whole strategy, you dig, so he could be like, y'all come from the north, y'all 
come from the west, y'all come from the east. You go, you get that, you get this, you get that. But let's continue, goddammit. Bismarck appreciated the opportunity to expand Germany's sphere of influence over Africa and hoped to force Germany's rivals to struggle with one another for territory. At the time of the conference, 80% of Africa remained untraditionally and remain under traditional and local control so like right before this stupid ass conference or whatever 80 percent of africa was still under our control the natives they gonna put under traditional control and local control god damn it under they fucking control because it's they goddamn land with y'all dirty ass see all in their little writings and shit see they attack you you just gotta know how to catch the bullshit you did but let's continue what ultimately resulted was a hodgepodge of geometric boundaries that divided Africa into 50 irregular countries. This new map of the continent was superimposed over 1,000 indigenous cultures and regions of Africa. The new countries lacked rhyme or reason and divided coherent groups of people and merged together desperate groups who really did not even fucking get along. So they knew what they was doing, y'all. They wanted to cut it up like that. That way you're fighting with the uh, your old rivals, goddammit, because you don't fuck with them still and they still attacking you. So while you distracted fighting the uh, black tribe over there, oh, we don't fuck with Mobutu and them stupid ass, you know, we still got beef over that bullshit. The uh, motherfucking, the main conqueror over there writing laws and stealing everything and building everything and going to act like they've been there since forever. Because y'all know they still over there acting like, I'll never leave Africa. This is my home and all that bullshit. Who the fuck do you think you are, these people, y'all? But I'm wrong, huh? But I'm fucking wrong. Look at this picture. Look how they chopped Africa up, goddammit. Look how they chopped it up. Motherfucking, uh, who that is over there? French, you know, they got most of the West. The British over there in Nigeria, they look like they got that. French got French got most of that shit. That's the blue ones. Look at the British with the red dots right there. You know, British, they, they made sure they get theirs after the Council of Nicaea. Germany, you know why that y'all know why Germany only got three point three parts? Cause I think after the fucking war and shit, they were like, no, nah, you just give y'all about three of them. You did? I I forgot. I don't wanna be missing up the I don't wanna be fucking up the timeline because I know how you fake motherfuckers be being the thing oh nigga you said yeah i fucked up it is what it is god damn it and look at portuguese and shit but y'all know to see all of these names i know that right all these names when you go to these countries in africa it be black people talking just like these people from london and even portugal that's why i'd be like they ain't portugal they ain't nothing but some dominican type niggas they're gonna be speaking that bullshit i'm from that as jalapeno and all of that bullshit you black stupid ass you speaking the language of your motherfucking conqueror it's your stupid ass you did y'all know how they do though they just marry light-skinned people so they act like they white and uh the black in them never existed you did see how people get down these motherfucking days you did now let's check out this lady awards because i don't know what you thought i was finished i want you to understand who the fuck this woman is and how foul these motherfuckers is for firing her and understand that they have a fucking agenda in play they want to wipe all of us out for any of you idiots still on the fence about this we are at fucking war you understand me let's read the awards y'all y'all know how i get that around this bitch i beat him went completely in god damn it in 2015, at the African Union Summit, Dr. Ira Connor received the Woman of Excellence Award. Woman of Excellence Award. My mandate is to promote Africa in the Americas and more importantly, to mobilize the African diaspora. Dispo diaspora y'all know what i meant diaspora god damn it meaning all people of african descent living outside of africa you did she bought that life you did she grinded got these fucking awards got them degrees and shit and i ain't saying we gotta have that because a lot of us from that goddamn struggle you dig and we gonna get it how we get it god damn it i ain't got all of them degrees but you see i'm murdering this shit every day god damn it because that's how we get down we black motherfucker we don't bend we don't break god 
damn it. You're witnessing the Rebel Network. Let's continue. A fellow of the American Academy of Fellow Physicians, recipient of several awards. She got several awards from the family physicians god damn it in 1996 she was awarded the achievement award by late president by late president what hold on y'all let's what the fuck look now see i ain't read this part see see what the fuck we just stumbled upon they say in 1996 she was awarded an achievement with a award by the late president nelson mandela of republic of south africa for her contributions to africa so i'm thinking is, is he dead or alive god damn it because i ain't gonna lie i really don't fucking know i thought that dude died when i was in um sixth grade i remember us singing songs mandela mandela and all kind of shit like a little celebration or something so is this dude dead or not what the fuck is going on but that's a whole nother fucking story you dig let's go to the next slide because that's crazy as fuck that shit even made me think of that that's a nice picture of this woman and i made sure to have these uh pictures you know throughout out this fucking presentation you did because we gonna put some fucking respect on her name over here on block talk news you understand what i'm saying do fucking respect lady got all these achievements and they gonna fire her talking about it's with pleasure it's with pleasure god damn it they ain't say we regret to inform you you dig that we firing you what kind of bullshit is that you understand what i'm saying now let's read our quotes you dig as we uh close this motherfucker out you witnessing the rebel network because these quotes was on fire to me god damn it i fuck with our quotes my mandate is to promote Africa and the Americas and more importantly to mo mobilize the African diaspora, meaning all people of African descent living outside of Africa. We read that one. Y'all understand because they took it from that. It's an excerpt or something. We at the AU understand that for the continent to move forward, it will need its people in the diaspora. She basically pleading with us. We need y'all to really make this shit pop. Come defend home and then we gonna be even stronger abroad. God damn it. It sound like a plea to us and uh, blacks across the diaspora. God damn it. If you in France or whatever, you know, some of y'all probably thank you French. Y'all from London. Thank you very much and all of that old bullshit. You're black. You're one of them. Your home is down there. God damn it. In that center, the belly button of the motherfucking planet but anyway let's continue we are the original people and we have every reason to stand up in the tallest mountains to proclaim who we are y'all heard that to proclaim who the fuck we are god damn it we are the original people now y'all see why i fuck with her i'm glad i ain't go to researching and find some bullshit like i did last time i ain't gonna even bring up the shit with mugabe ass but anyway let's continue with the last quote you understand we are beautiful, intelligent, sophisticated, highly adaptable, and totally indestructible people, the Africans. Any other race that would have gone through what we've been subjected to would have been extinct. And that's the motherfucking truth. Read that shit. You see what I'm saying? That's real shit right there. That woman said we are indestructible us africans indestructible i agree with every last fucking word in that quote even a motherfucking uh what you call i agree with the quotations itself god damn it fuck wrong with y'all i agree with the comma around this motherfucker we are beautiful intelligent sophisticated highly adaptable you got that goddamn right no matter what the fuck they tried to do to us bruh they just couldn't fucking kill us all you tried to murder us on our fucking homeland didn't work try to take us from there where you took us from there and spread us all across the world hoping that'll knock us off you dig if we scatter them out and then we could kill them easier you thought that'll work it didn't fucking work we still here you tried to enslave us we still fucking here we survived them fucked up sweaty ass boats with chains where you had us stacked up on boats on top of each other like a fucking product god damn it like a fucking product we survived that shit and we still here after you shot malcolm you shot king plan ass you shot everybody you shot mark clark you shot huey newton you shot every fucking body and we still here and i'm still fucking speaking we are completely indestructible what the fuck 
Y'all thought it was, you did. You witnessing the Rebel Network and see this this picture right here for a reason because I figured that was a beautiful ass picture. A great way to end this motherfucking segment on Block Talk News. Y'all understand me? So what the fuck did we learn today, you did? What did we learn today? That these people have a global agenda. And while you still trying to separate yourself from the Africans, God damn it, they understand that they have to attack the Africans and you as well. They don't give a fuck if you in America and you ain't fucking with them no more, God damn it. They gonna fuck with you and they gonna fuck with them as well. So all you're doing is fucking each other up by not fucking with each other, you did. And whoever got a problem with me saying fuck so many times, understand this is block talk news where block talk about the fucking news how block talk you did you don't like it disappear we bags for nothing around this motherfucker you did but when you look at this woman dr ira Connor, put some motherfucking respect on her name you understand what i'm saying all these fucking achievements you hear me and they gonna fire that woman talking about it's with a fucking honor i burn that motherfucker down now nah, i'm not advocating violence you did I'm not all the everything said here is a reflection of block talk motherfucking news you did. Once again, y'all holler at me.